Welcome to the instructional video of how to build a flip grid. As you can see, I have already built one and presented a flip grid, and I'm going to show you how to put in all these components that you see here. Uh, at first, we would want to start at the beginning of a flip grid. Uh, these are our classes here. Um, but instead of doing that, I would want to just do a quick short, which I'm going to click on here. Just this is going to show um, how to get into the starting position. So as you can see, you can have your camera. You can push it as far or as close as possible. Scroll down a little bit. You're going to have a lot of these options right here, which um, I'm showing you, and effects. So you have options and effects. One of the big ones to start out with is this thing, mirror video. As you can see, my writing is all backwards when I hold it up to the camera. I'm going to be asking you throughout the year to uh, to write down and solve problems and then go ahead and explain how you solve the problem. So you're going to want to reverse that into the proper position so that when you're showing something on the screen that um, you can point to it and it's written in the correct. So go ahead and you want to mirror that video so you can see the dot is on. Um, what we have here is we have upload a clip. You're not going to use any of these things, mute, record, screen. So we're going to get rid of the options now. We're going to go to the effects. The effects are um, filters, text, ink, boards, stickers, photos, frames. One of the first things that kids or anybody likes to do is play with stickers. So you can pick any. There's some new recent ones. So let's say the, the mask one's pretty funny. Some people like to cover up their face, so they put it in front of them. Or you can put stickers anywhere you want. You can pop them into the background, which is fun. Uh, you can put more than one sticker in. Um, sorry, go back to effects, back to stickers. Uh, here's a happy face. Again, you can cover yourself. You can cover things you don't want in the screen with stickers. There's my degrees. Um, you could cover them up so that people don't know. All the degrees that I have, I'm joking. Okay. Uh, you also have, uh, so that's stickers. Photos, an interesting one. I've tried uploading them. I've had a lot more success just dragging a photo from your desktop right into the thing, and then it pops in there. So here's our rise. I wanted to include that. I can make it bigger. Uh, some photos need to be big or they lose their uh, their beautiful, like, structure so if you can see if i make this photo way too small it gets all pixelated and blurry and weird um different photo that's a different course for so you can just also remove them you can remove anything you want by just clicking on it and deleting it that's stickers and photo uh let's go to a board this is uh this is one I'm not too familiar with i think you can write on it as you're instructing so a possible application for this is I'll have you write down an equation and you can solve it there. We're not going to do that right now. Let's go to some of the other effects. Oh, so once you have an effect up, if you want to go back to the main, you toggle. So if you see that, it says board here. You push that, you go back to your main. Um, let's do text. Text is fun. Uh, you can do, let's say, typewriter. I can type over here. Oops. Hold over here. I type, I am Mr. Garrigus. And you can see that it's gone off the screen. So I'm going to get out of that. But I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to drag it. And I'm going to shrink it. If I shrink it too much, it flips upside down. I don't want that. But I do like it about like that. I am Mr. Garrigus. And now I can edit this thing by clicking on a corner. Let's see. I have some options here. That's a reverse. What's this? I'm not sure. I don't know what that did. Oh, it duplicated. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to get rid of those. There's a trash can. I don't know what that does. This rotates it. But let's say I wanted to change some of the background here. So I go over here. I can change the color, the background color. I, I like to go custom. And I like orange is my favorite color, so I usually go with orange. 
and I will close that out and I can go back to the uh, color of the font. Let's do blue. That looks nice. And then I can do the strokes. I think it's on the outside of it. So let's say I do red. So it's outlined in red or I could customize it with anything I want. And you could drag it along to change the different colors. That looks pretty cool. Bright green, fluorescent green. We'll leave it there. So that we have font, we have color of the text, the outside of the stroke, and the background for the font color. So that's text style. That's text. Uh, ink, I think, is, I'm not sure what ink is. It's drawing. So let's say I didn't like what I just did there. Um, if I get rid of it, I think I can erase it. Undo, undo, undo. Okay, so let's go back to effects. We have ink, we've chosen our color. Let's say I wanted to solve a problem and I had a two X equals X minus uh, eight. What's the solution? Oh, I'm not so sure. Well, I know I need to subtract X from both sides. So now I can show that X equals negative eight and that's super so i have ink i've got text i've got filters that i can put in and these are different things that changes kind of the way i look maybe i'm in black and white those are your filters and then the last thing is boards. These are the outside of the board. Oh, that's the color background of the board. There is one more where you can frame your image. What's that? Options, effects, stickers, ink, text, filters, photo, frames. There it is. <laughs> So a frame I often use, it's a funny one, is this one was breaking news. Uh, there's some other funny ones. This one's like a funny unicorn, under the sea, the jungle, and then just kind of a groovy 70s thing. Uh, that one's strange. It's leaves, snowflakes, and that's all of Flipgrid. So um, have fun with it. Uh, that will be, uh, you're going to really enjoy it. And now I've uh, turned on my flip grid. Sorry about that. Once you uh, record your flip grid, you will hit either pause or next. And then you will be able to uh, edit it. So there it goes. It's into its editing phase. You can see I recorded for uh, 20 and Now seconds. I've uh, turned on my <laughs> flip grid. Sorry about that. Once you uh, record your flip grid, you will hit either pause or next. And then you will be able. And then you can see that you can add even more to it. And once you're done, you click next. And then you can take a selfie, upload a photo, select your frame. Add a description, intro to Flipgrid instructional video. And that's it. You confirm it, it's done. And then you can go ahead and once it's all done, there's options here to download it. That's probably the most, the one that you'll use the most. You just click on that, it'll download. You wait for it to completely download and then you can just drag it onto your desktop. All right, I hope that was helpful.